Okay, my name is Sophie Donges, I'm 23 and I'm from near Cambridge. I chose the Warren Smith Gap Year course because I've been on a couple of the courses previously um, and just loved the way that they were so kind of versatile in terms of people that went on them and general level of people that kind of took part and just the way pe we were taught as well. I, I need bullying when I'm being taught because otherwise I'm not going to do anything and the boys are honest and you know if you do a rubbish run they'll say that was rubbish do it again and that's that works the best for me and I yeah, noticed a big improvement. Um, the level that I needed to be to come on the course was basically just to be able to get down general runs. I mean, that was the nicest thing as well, is that no, nobody was kind of stereotyped for being either too good or not strong enough because the boys worked with all different levels. I mean, there were four groups whilst we were on the gap course, um, kind of those that were the, the weaker skiers and those that had been skiing for years and years and years. So there wasn't any you know, set level as such as far as I was aware. Um, I mean, I would have said I was probably one of the lower end ones initially um, but yeah I've noticed a big improvement. A typical day on the mountain with the guys would be um, we normally the gappies would all meet up beforehand and we'd go for a couple of runs around the mountain and get in a bit of a bit of a blast um, before kind of setting off and then and um, we'd meet the guys at about 10 15 at, at Runette the kind of middle station um, and then we'd go and do our stretch area stuff and um, kind of swinging legs and sit-ups and all sorts of crazy stuff and um, so we would do that for about 15 20 minutes and then we'd all kind of head off into our own separate groups with our guys of which we kind of had about I don't know seven of us in a group something like that um, and we kind of did drills and we did fun stuff and we kind of just practiced and practiced and then we had quick lunch lunch wasn't important at all it was just eat eat and get out um so we had lunch kind of you know one o'clock till one twenty, one thirty, and then um and then we'd kind of head back up do a few more runs and stuff until 3 3 30 and then we'd all end up at 19:36 having a beer brilliant um the level of coaching that we we had on the course was exceptional i mean the boys were all the nicest thing about them is that everyone kind of aspires to ski like them because they look really cool on the mountain you know they're not kind of chalet boy people that wave their arms and do puftery stuff there they look awesome so it kind of made all of us want to learn that much more to, to kind of ski like that and in terms of personalities and stuff every each one of them is, has their very individual personality which is incredible you know they kind of they all teach in different ways but it all ends up giving the best result at the end of the day and, yeah, awesome guys, and they'll come out for drinks with us at the end of the day, and yeah, really, really good, made some good friends. We worked on a few different things during the course, kind of ranging from um, on-piste stuff with carving and short radius turns, um, to the more kind of um, beyond central theme kind of stuff, I guess, which is more the moguls and the variable terrain, and trying to get down ridiculously narrow things, which are really gnarly and scary, but at the bottom you get there and just kind of says, I just did that. That's amazing. You know, you just you just work on a bit of everything so that you're always going to be in control and yeah, you're always just going to be on it and loving every minute. Um, my main thing with skiing was most definitely confidence, and I set myself a New Year's resolution um, just before the course began to you know, to get some balls and to actually push myself to do stuff. And I rather stupidly told all the boys this as well. And they used it against me every single time I came down something like a wimp. And they just say, Sophie, what's your New Year's resolution? But um, it worked. It really, really worked. And that's kind of the, the main thing that's changed in my skiing is just having the confidence to, to try stuff and then getting the ability kind of through all the drills and stuff that we've been doing to know that I can get down stuff. And then you can just do it again and again, faster and faster and better and better. Good. Tell us about the drills and exercises you had to work on. Um, we were doing all sorts of different things, kind of skiing on, on one ski and um, yeah, turning on our inside leg. That was, that was horrible, but um, good practice. Um, the main thing that the boys were pushing into us was ankle flex, because at the end of the day, if you haven't got ankle flex, you're, you're ruined. You, you have to have ankle flex. Lateral control as well, so that you, you know, you're not skiing with your, your skis majorly close together or your feet splitting. I had quite an issue with my feet being kind of too too far apart at the beginning but working on that and, you, and using your thighs as well in order to kind of you have people forget to use their inside thigh when they're steering so that's why kind of everyone goes into the old a-frame stuff. If you if you use your inside thigh which is what we were working on a lot you know you can be a much stronger skier at the end of it. There were there were numerous other aspects that we we covered during the course. You know, it wasn't all on mountain stuff. We had um, we did have a lecture on ski maintenance because you know a lot of people don't really know 
what to do with your skis. You know, you, you drop them off at the shop and leave them there and get them back nicely serviced the next day. So we had a bit of a, a chat about that. And we also did, um, we had to do a couple of courses, one in first aid, which was awesome. We were up on the mountain um, for a couple of days, just kind of doing the, the basic the basic first aid stuff. So it's brilliant. We can always, always shout out, we know what to do, we know what to do. Um, and then we also did um, an avalanche um, safety course as well, which was kind of a couple of hours in the classroom before coming up on the mountain. Um, and actually kind of using transceivers and hunting for people with probes and shovels and it was it was good it was really good um, and we also did some yeah did some pilates as well with with a local girl in town um, which was wicked it just you know kind of backs up all the stuff that Warren and the boys have been trying to to drill into us in terms of you know what what parts of the body we do need to be focusing on like core and and thighs and legs and all of that sort of stuff so that was wicked as well um, there was the biggest eclectic mix of people on this course you could ever imagine. I mean, from a 16-year-old um, young guy to a 53-year-old man, um, all wanting the same thing at the end of the day, just to have fun, to, to improve their skiing. You know, I think there were some crazy, crazy characters and there were some very quiet characters. And the amount that people changed and bonded throughout the course is just incredible. I think... I, I particularly feel as though I'm leaving here with more friends than I would have ever thought. You know, you come away on a course knowing that there's going to be 30 people on it, you think, well, you know, I might make friends with five, six people really well and then everyone else will be a kind of, you know, will be there. But everyone, everyone means something really important to everybody else. It's wicked. You know everyone, you know everyone's kind of ups and downs and strengths and weaknesses and it, it's lovely. We can all be there to support each other through it. It's wicked. Um, we had when we were doing our kind of video analysis sessions um, and evening lectures occasion we kind of did them about two or three times a week and not only would we do our video analysis so that we could work on our own kind of performance stuff we also um, worked on um, lesson planning for for when we were going to be doing our basic exam so we had to think about how we were going to teach different age ranges how we were going to teach different levels different exercises you could use to work on with these with these clients as such um, the boys were brilliant because even up on the mountain they were kind of helping us to not only practice our demos for central themes, so our snow plows and our plow parallels and all of that, they were giving us wicked exercises that we can do that are not only useful but really fun at the same time. So it was really good because we were all taking notes and all being, you know, boffing geeky people but it, you know at the end of the day it's what we needed to do and it, yeah, it worked, it was good. Um, I achieved my Bayesi 3, which I was ecstatic about, you know, after kind of nine weeks of really hard training, it was, you know, it felt really deserved, it was lovely, um, and even since doing that, it's given me the confidence to ski faster and harder than I did before, it's weird, it's a bit of a mental thing, but it's, it's incredible, um, and the plan is to come back out to Verbier next season, it's a bit of a, an addiction, I think, come back out to Verbier next season and, and work for one of the local ski schools and see how I get on. I would definitely recommend the Warren Smith Gap course to everybody and anybody I know. I know that there's quite a lot of people that I've met that just on the week courses and the week courses that have been out here, um, and we've raved and raved about the course and just said how much fun we've had. And I, I know for certain that a good handful of those guys that we've just kind of raved about for ten minutes have booked onto the Gap course already. You know, it's it's brilliant. I, I want my mum to come and do this course. She'd love it. Absolutely love it. Anyone can do it. Anyone and everyone. It's awesome.